Good morning, art buddies, and welcome to Brie Collage with Pink Girly. Happy Easter. I just feel like coloring today. So I pulled out my pan pastels. I haven't used them in forever, and I barely knew how to use them when I bought them. Don't know anything more, but <clears throat> I thought it might go a little quicker, you know, if I use those as a base. So I don't know what I want to color. I found this book. I was rummaging through my um, color books and I forgot I had this. So some of the pages I know are, are torn out, but I'm just going to start, you know, leafing through and maybe mark ones that I think I might be interested in. I kind of like the dress ones a little bit, but that, I guess that would be kind of boring. This might be, this little jar might be fun. If you see one that you think is fun, let's see, there's only two of us here. It's me and Jacqueline. As you come in, if you want to grab a color book, we could sit and color together, huh? How fun would that be? It's kind of cute. I color pretty slow, you know, you know, I wonder why my screen looks blue all of a sudden. Maybe it always did. Oh, I love that dress. Look at that cute little dress. Look at that cute little number. I am cooking. Okay. What are you cooking there, kid? Oh, I was thinking about this basket of apples, too. I don't know. I don't want to embarrass myself too much. I look at all the canning jars. See my pro Ooh. my problem is I like too many of them. Well, that's I guess that's why I bought the book. Wah, wah, wah. All right, so I started back here. There are a couple rabbit ones. I like this one all the way in the back too. Let's see. The sunflowers, huh? What about those? I need somebody else to give me some direction. I'm not doing a kitty cat. A rib roast, potatoes, mac and cheese, deviled eggs. Oh my goodness. Sourdough rolls. Ham appetizer and lemon dessert. Oh, my goodness. Good morning, Candy. Candy, is this Passover? I'm so dumb. I, I feel like I should know this. Or is Passover done? Happy holidays to you, my dear Candy. How are you doing today? I'm looking for something I want to color. Is anybody out there? Well, now there's only three of us. I wonder if and Jacqueline said she likes this book, so maybe she has it, but she's busy cooking. She can't be called. Look at that with the bee. <gasps> no, it's the end of April. Okay. Because my husband said something about Passover and I wasn't sure. Okay. More cupcakes. Another kitty. I do love my pumpkins. Not today. I don't know what these are supposed to be. Like, this looks like it should be vegetables, but they look like rolls to me. They look like mushrooms, maybe. I don't know. I don't have my coloring books anyways. Onions. Oh, you think they look like? Oh, they could be. Hey, Gail. Good morning. Happy Easter. I'm going to have to do those. See, here's one bunny. I guess I could think about him. I'm kind of leaning towards those sunflowers on the back page. I really like them. 
or the uh, mason jar. Although, how do you get the mason jar to look like glass? I didn't do any research. I did get my thumbnail done, though. I'm very happy with myself about that. Got that done yesterday. I put my heat on in my room, but it's still very chilly. So we went to church and we left um, our little dog at home by herself. Does anybody know why my screen looks so blue? I haven't changed anything. I wonder if I turn this light out, if it gets... Oh, that's really washed out from my perspective. I don't have my phone here. Is that that's not any less blue, right? The to color glass, you just add highlights and shadows. Oh, okay. Maybe you can walk me through it. All right, I'm gonna have to ask somebody who knows. Look, those apples are so cute. Maybe I'll do the sunflowers because that's a, oh look at that dress, Jacqueline. Can you see can you see that dress? I gotta do some more in this book. I've been ripping out the pages. That bunny, I like that bunny too. I think for today and you know, trying to get something accomplished, maybe getting it partly done would be the sunflowers. See, that's cute, too. Well, there's a lot of cute stuff in here, right? Look at that adorling dress. I'm going to take the page out of the book, though. Look, look how cute this is. All right, let's see. Now, the problem will be if I can get it in an angle where you can see what I'm doing. All right, so I've got my fixative ready. So when I'm done with my... Now, I don't have a lot of pan pastel. But I'm going to use what I got. Recollage. I'm going to use what I have available. This is my leaning box to try to. All right. So, you know, girls, you're going to have to let me know if I need to come in a little bit. So, all my uh, Pam Pastel things, little sponges and stuff, haven't been used in forever. I just cleaned them off a little bit. So I've got a paper paper towel here, and let's see. So I've got this really light yellowy color. So I'm going to pull that out. Let me see if I can even get this thing open without flipping a nail. So how is everyone? Is everyone doing okay? It's still a little cool here and so windy. So we left Jenny here by herself in the kitchen she had water and her bed and and her little shoes and her toys you know she had all that jazz i guess we're going to need some green and uh we came in the door and i she was you know i thought she'd be yipping and so happy to see us she just wanted to get outside i think she had to go to the bathroom we had the sliding glass door pulled and she ran right into the door bonk right off right off the door she didn't hurt herself she's fine hansa yellow extra dark yeah i just don't know anything about these Let's see what this one is. Bright greenish yellow. Okay, so maybe we can do a few things with that. And I kind of like this gold. So I'll pull the gold out. And I think that's all I'm going to worry about for right this second. And I need to find a place to sit these where... Oh, I'm just going to put them back. In the drawer from whence they came. Let's see how it goes. Oh my goodness. I haven't done this in forever and ever. All right. So I've got all these little spongies. That one's got a clean side. Oh, that might be a good one to use. Let's clean that off just a little bit more. So I'm going to scoot this in. 
They're like little palette knives. Okay, so as you're coming in, if you need me to see something, please put it in capital letters. I try to light underneath my desk here, and that didn't really work. So I'm going to have to get the husband on it. I tried to figure it out myself, and it really didn't work so well. Okay, so this is a really light yellow. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. I'm going to come back over with um, color pencil. I think you may need that dark yellow also. I got this one. This is like a gold. We'll see. You think I need that like orangey yellow one? Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so I have this tool here. See, and it's got all these other little, all these other little tops. I think I kind of like this. Let's let's see. This is more like a more like a makeup brush. Let me see. See, it's just the handle, and then you you pinch these. Or pinch them. That might be more better. And somewhere I have a battery operated um, eraser. No idea where I put that. It's in its little in a little in a little zipper pouch. Last I saw it, it was right up on my shelf. Gone. Hmm. I think candy might be right. So I just have a little piece of eraser sitting here. If I need that. I forget why I bought this book. I think I, ha I have a couple pages I've ripped out that I started on. I have a frog sitting on some books. And I started to work on some strawberries last night and sufficiently frustrated myself. Looking at strawberries, trying to make them look real. So I'm not too, expecting too many to come in today, thinking most folks are getting ready for family or company to come in. But I wanted to still come on in case somebody's sitting home alone. We were going to stay home, but my sisters really talked me into going to my niece. My daughter's still not feeling too well. And um, she's just really not up for anything. And my son and his gal, they have plans. She's got three sons, which they have the boys today. And uh, plans with her mom. The boys wanted to go to an activity. And if we live so far away, if they came here, it would have been, they wouldn't have been able to go. So they're staying put. I want to drag my hand in it, you know. So I know very little about pan pastels, but I do know that if you stick your mitt in them, you know, you'll, you'll smudge them all around.
Just another day for Gail. Well, it's a happy, happy day for me. Although at church, they didn't sing any old church hymns. I was trying, um, you know, old resurrection hymns. I was a little disappointed at that. But. All right, let me grab that other color. It's more of a more of an orange. Let's see how I like that. Ugh. Let's see, let's switch this little guy out for a second. Switch this in. I think the Phillies play again today. Oh my gosh, they've had a horrible opening to their season. Ah. I don't know, this is really orangey. I don't know that I wanted that orange. Maybe just a little smidge on top of. Maybe just a little smidge on top of that gold might be nice. I, I, it'd be nice if I had two of these. This one's kind of... Like I know from watching Dee Dee years ago when she would do pan pastel. She, you know, you got to slip these down over that little palette. And they tear pretty easily. But see, you don't have anything behind there to give it stability. So this is kind of kind of loosey-goosey. It's probably better off if I don't put it on my paper. So we're going to take the dog with us to my niece as she wants to see the puppy. She's the one that's due to have a baby in a couple of weeks. Actually, the baby is down and she's starting to dilate. So it might be sooner than we, we thought. And they've got a... Um, They've got a dog. Her name is Ella, and she's a golden retriever, I believe. And they've got a cat named Dexter. Not sure how. Jenny will like Dexter. I don't know if she's been exposed to any cats. But anyway, we're going to take her. Ella likes puppies, so that should be fine. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks, the baby is five pounds, 10 ounces, they say at this point. So hopefully in the next few weeks, we'll have a new little addition to our family. We're all very excited for his arrival. And my sister said, let's take our crocheting. So I'm going to take my crocheting project. That's a leaf behind there. Okay. I don't know. I have a, a old fashioned love song. Song is in my head. Why? Um, Gail says, Lori, it will probably be more of the question of whether Dexter likes Jim. <laughs> That's probably true, Gail. <laughs> He probably will lay low for a while till the food comes out.
So puppies are really bitey. They're always chewing on everything, including your toes and your fingers. And, you know, we're trying to redirect her and give her other things to chew on. But this morning when I was walking to take her outside, she got a little nip of my shoe and her tooth got her tooth got stuck in it. Next thing you know, I'm moving my leg and there's a puppy sliding along. <laughs> She's so funny. My gosh, we're giggling. She's hopping and jumping. Barking at her toys. So we're, we're really enjoying her at this point. She's, she's really good. I mean, I thought for sure we'd have some sleepless nights with putting her in her crate. You know, when it's time for her to go to bed. Not a peep out of her. Not a peep. She just goes in there sounds just hey carol good morning happy easter i do i have a puppy i have a puppy and um she just lays in her crate and goes to sleep i mean she's been so good with that All right, let me see if I can use this. I'm going to use this lighter green. See if I can gently get in here. I'm trying to see my, I left my phone in the front room. She does, Carol. Puppies are always, so, they are so cute. Yes, the copper tona. Yes. <laughs> We're aging ourselves there, girls, huh? I guess a Q-tip would also work. Wouldn't it work? I don't know. Maybe. Okay, so this little thing has some green on it. So let's, let's switch this one out. Get some green in here. Can you guys see okay? Am I too far away? Is it good enough? Not good enough? Okay, I'm going to stick with that lighter green. Okay, so up under here, this is all leaf behind here. And the stem. Now I know I can come back and erase. I do have a brush here for dusting. So I don't have to spit on my... Hmm. 
I made bone broth yesterday. Now, of course, I've made broth before. But I never made bone broth. Jacqueline. Lovely's Crafting Lodge told me how to do it. And I told my daughter to make some. I don't know if she will. It might be good for her. She's been sick for so long. I cooked mine probably a little longer than I should have. But it tastes good. I just put some um, onion in it in with it and like the leaves of celery. That's really all I put in there. Oh, I put some garlic. Yeah, I put some garlic in there too. Jacqueline said it's really good for you. Yes, yeah, she says it's very healthy. Trying to get in that little that little spot there. Oh, that's better. Oh, it's better when I rub don't rub it rub on there. I've got a lot more color. Let's see if I can get this out of my. I'm afraid I'm going to knock that over. And then I'm going to have my. Washi tapes all over the place. I can't really tell what's all in there. I guess that really doesn't matter. It kind of looks like this is all leaf here, but it's strange looking. That's a leaf for sure. Not sure about there. Sometimes I have a hard time determining. Hey, Riri, good morning. Happy Easter. I have a hard time determining what is in a picture. I remember once I was coloring a little, um, a fairy baby. This, this little fairy baby had something on its head. Man, I was asking everybody. Nobody could figure out what the heck it was supposed to be on her head. My screen looks really washed out to me. Does anybody have any Easter traditions? My mom always had a big Easter nest with candy. And we did an Easter egg hunt for the grandkids. I don't remember doing that when I was a kid, though. And, um, you know, her and dad, they would fill the plastic eggs. And then my dad would bury them out in the yard. And they have a really big yard. Well, they had a really big yard. My niece lives there now. Um, be, it, but it'd be so funny. It'd be like 4th of July picnic. And um, my dad would be coming up the back of the yard, laughing, shaking his head. Here he'd find a plastic egg, you know, with a side chewed out of it. Because um, 
a squirrel had gotten it. And, and we would count, they would count how many eggs they buried and then when we would count, but we'd somehow one would always get left behind. I used to fill a small willow laundry basket with stuff for my daughter. Oh, that sounds cute. See, after a while, these little sponges kind of disintegrate. Of course, like I said, I haven't used these really in, in years. So they probably, most of my sponges probably are dry rotted. I'm starting to go through with the plastic. Let's get the other side. Oh, that's better. That's more better. Mm. So watching the baseball game yesterday, they're playing in Philadelphia. And I don't know, most of, I don't know, I shouldn't say this. Um, some of you may not follow baseball but we have a player on our team it's fairly well known he's a good young player his name is Bryce Harper and he's just he's just all in you know like he gives it everything so at the side of the field like here's the first baseline way over here there's a lot of turf here and then there's a railing and behind that railing it's like a little pit like say like an orchestra pit it's not, it's not real super deep, but there's cameras, cameras and a camera crew guy in there. Well, he's looking to catch this ball and he's not really super paying attention. He hits that rail and he went over sideways right on his noggin. I don't, I don't, he cut his finger, but I don't know how he didn't hurt himself more. Oh my gosh. He's like one of our star players. Of course, I'm screaming at him, you know. We don't need to lose you for the whole season. Oh, really? Yeah, well, that's not hard to believe. Okay. It's not an even coat, but it's coated. All right, so now I want to take... What was I doing originally? I was doing, oh, that gold, I think, yeah. Let me see if I can find another little... This one doesn't look too bad. All right, I'm going to try these two colors. I'm going to put some of the gold uh, right around the base of my sunflowers. I was thinking spring, you know, coloring spring. There's a little shadowy part in there. Trying to add a little bit of that shadowy with the pan pastel before I get to the, oops, you know what I should do? Get another paper towel here. I'm trying to hold the paper from wiggling. Does anybody else use now? I know um candy, but anybody else use um 
pan pastels. Riri, is that a minor league team? Uh, do you see now? He used to be uh, a Nat. Oh, yeah, yeah. He used to be with the Nationals, yeah. He's been with Philly for a couple years now. But yes, you are exactly right. Hated him then, love him now. <laughs> I wish they would um, check with me when they are deciding to trade some players. That would be nice, wouldn't it? I traded one of my favorites. All right, so I'm just trying to smooth some of this out so it's not real blotchy looking you know And then there's a manager that managed the, Phil the Philadelphia Phillies for quite a few years. I don't know how many. And he's quite loved Charlie Manuel. And, um, of course, he's an older fella, you know. And uh, he had a stroke. So he's been recuperating, but he threw the first pitch out at the uh, opening game. So that was exciting. Everybody was happy to see him. Seems to be doing pretty well in his recovery. He still has a ways to go, you know, with his speech and stuff. But he seems like he's doing pretty well. All right, so now I'm going to just clean that off a little and go into this brighter orangey color and kind of add a little bit of that on top of my gold to just kind of brighten up. That gold a little bit. I want it a little deeper down here. A little stronger, maybe underneath. I should have grabbed my phone. Let's see, Gil says they called the Chicago dogs. Yeah, they're called. Oh, Riri Chicago has a fun minor team like that too. They think, I think they have something to do with hot dogs in the name. Hmm. Riri, you told us about that league with some. Um, all those good-looking guys, didn't you? Jacqueline knows who they are. They do all kinds of crazy stuff. Most of them are really built. Yeah. 
Maybe they'll play the bananas. <laughs> yeah, that's the one, the bananas. Okay, so now I want to try adding a little darker green. I see this guy here. I think he's pretty well. Yes, yeah, see, he's all busted open. He's shot. He's shot. This has blue and black on it. I don't want that. This is kind of neutral. Kind of neutral. Let's see. It's chilly in my room, girls. Okay. Let's give that a little, a little rub. And I'm going to take some of this darker green. Let's do this stem. Now I'm going to use, I think, my Prismacolors because I am more familiar with those, with the colors and kind of how they work. So I think that might be better for me as far as shading. Go underneath here. Any questions? Oh, there's Andrea. Hi, Andrea. Mm, I almost said Merry Christmas. Happy Easter. All right, let me get some of this darker green over here on the leaf. And let's get some on the bottom here. Underneath here. I think I'm tapping in the wrong one. Come on, Laura. Sheesh. little darker under here where we might have a shadow. Oh, my bird saga has continued. Oh my gosh. All right. So I look up online what to do about the brown birds that are terrorizing the bluebirds. So they say either plug up the hole in the the um, bird box or take the box down. So I plugged up the hole and they said, hopefully they'll lose interest and they'll go away. Well, I hadn't seen any brown birds for days. Now, supposedly the beginning of April, end of March, beginning of April, is when the bluebirds are going to want to, you know, lay their eggs, have their nest ready. And it says the brown birds will go in and steal the nests, lay their own eggs, and sometimes even poke open the bluebird eggs and throw them out of the nest. So I'm trying to attract the bluebirds to get 
the bluebirds to have, you know, their babies here. So I hadn't seen any brown birds. So it had been weeks and I thought, well, maybe they got discouraged. The bluebirds were still coming and eating in the feeder. So I felt pretty good about that. So yesterday morning, I un <laughs> yesterday morning, I unstopped the bird nest, you know, the hole. I unclogged the hole. I just had a piece of bubble wrap rolled up and stuck in the hole, right? My husband comes walking into the house. Well, no luck there. And I said, what are you talking about? He said, you got a brown bird in that box. I'm like, what? And there he was with his little fat face sticking out that purple. So now I've got it stopped up again. And I hadn't seen bluebirds for a day or so at the feeder, but they were there this morning. The female was there. This brown bird's giving me agita, is what he's doing. He's giving me agita. Just, I know, I shouldn't care, but I, it's like a hobby. I wanted to get the bluebirds to come. I mean, they're so nice and they're so pretty. But see, then that, that brown bird's always flapping at them and trying to get them away from the, I don't know. So I'm not too hopeful again. I'm feeling very sad about it again. So I got my water pistol. Keep taking that out with me so if I see it, I can chase it. Ugh. Okay. You know, I probably should do a background too, huh? That would be easier to do with the pan pastels. Or I need to do a brown center. Didn't I get the brown? Don't I have brown? Yeah, I have brown. I have brown. Oh, yeah. Right. And I have a light blue. I could do light blue. I could do a darker blue at the bottom. They were house friends. I think some swallows got them. I know those. Those these say they say with the research that a little. I didn't. You know, I'm not a. I'm not a pro, but the little bit of research I did said these are um, brown-headed cowbirds. They kind of look like a sparrow, but they got a white mark like on the side of their face. Ugh, they're on my last nerve. Them and Stanley the squirrel. I fessed up about my gourd seeds though, because I don't want him, I don't want my husband pulling them out. He's always weeding. And I got the lecture. Gourds go get all over the place. Well, I said, well, we could pinch them back. He said, well, then you won't get any gourds. Well, I'm not going to pinch them all the way back. He just always has an answer. 
I still have another birdhouse that chickadees nest in. Hopefully, they will be okay. I mean, I understand, like Aunt Beck says, she likes the brown birds. Well, I get that too, but not when they're being nasty and they're chasing and stealing other birds' nests and knocking their, knocking their eggs out. That's not nice. And there are other bird we have another birdhouse out in the more towards the back of the yard in another little garden. I mean, they could go in there. But they don't want they don't want to do that. They want to get in somebody else's nest so they don't have to do the work. Yeah, little snots. Yeah, grackles. I should look up how to get rid of them, too. Sheesh. They're always knocking the bird seed all over. Chasing away the little birds. We did have um, a pair of doves, too, out there. I think they're still around. I don't know. I don't know. Got to get my hummingbird feeder out. All right, so now I have this other tool. This is not a, oh, that's pretty solid. It's not as um, flimsy as that other little palette knife. That might be good for the blue. It's a little chewed up on that side, but let's see if I can get, get it to work. All right, so now I have this darker blue. Which is really kind of a like a gray blue. Oh no, wait a minute, girls, wait a minute. See, I've got that one, but I, I just spied another one. Well, that's more better, I think. Yeah, I've got this nice. This looks like that blue sketch print that Timmy has. Okay, so this one's called turquoise, and this one is called ultramarine shade see there's different ones and i don't know anything about what's what some are shades some say dark i don't i don't know put it over here oh this is pretty this is pretty this is pretty all right let's see how that goes Ooh, this could be dangerous Probably not get it on real even. Try. Yeah, some of that other color that's on there is kind of. They steal all the food. And chase away, yes. And there's plenty out there. Same like those dang blue jays. Haven't seen any blue jays much here. Cardinals, we got quite a few cardinals. And we got a woodpecker. I think I saw an owl the other day. I had Jenny out, made me nervous. Because I don't, I can't leave her out there because they've, they've got big birds swarming over the top. I don't know. They look like some kind of vulture. 
this is kind of getting muddy it's not going it's this isn't looking so good I have to wash these sponges. I wonder if I have one that's not as. This time, well, see, they're stark on that too. Who knows what the heck I was doing? I mean, I just hardly ever use these. Let's see. If I've got something a little more better. Well. Get rid of that one. Oh, I've got two like this. You gotta kind of wiggle. Gotta kind of wiggle them. Oh, you're not supposed to feed them because of the bears? Oh, the bears will come get the bird seed? Yeah. Yeah. I could be dicey. Hmm? I could be trouble. Let's see. Oh, that's really dark. Well, that looks nicer than up there. It's cleaner. A couple of years ago, my husband didn't want to put out any bird food because he didn't. <laughs> he didn't want the bird poop all over his flowers. I think some of that green from the leaves is mixing in. Oh, well, it looks better than a, a white background. I think. And then I can add some extra color here. Okay. Am I, am I missing anything here? Carol said, but I still put out sugar water for the hummingbirds from our second floor window. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hopefully the bear's not going to get up there. I told you my bear story with the camping, right, when we were camping. Ooh. They can be quite resourceful. Yeah, when we would take our um, our camping trips and we would take, say, like um, a Coleman cooler. We had one. My dad had one. And they're kind of like heavier, like metal chests. You know, it's got a big lock on it. You got to keep those babies locked because those bear, they just flip it and take it. We had to keep it shut and locked so they couldn't even get the, you know, the scent. I 
about what you know what might be in there. Little blue behind there. I'm doing this blue around the flowers. That'll save me, I think, a little bit as far as having to erase some stuff. I'm trying to see where I might have to erase. I'm going to put this light blue down here and then go over it maybe with some of that darker blue. I haven't colored anything in a while. Even at night, sitting in my chair, I've been um, either slow stitching or crocheting. Even my husband said, yeah, you haven't been coloring for a while. Candy said, we have a chipmunk that runs up and down the water drain from our roof. We have one that shows up every once in a while. Sometimes I'll see them in my neighbor's um, drain spout, you know, like the downspout at the ground, like hanging out in there. So when Jenny goes over there and sniffs, I think, oh, a mouse or a chipmunk's going to come popping out of there and bite her on the nose. That would not be good. Okay, this looks a little better. All right, all right. I see I didn't put any dark green on that one leaf up there. I have a hard time screwing these things closed. Like they seem to get, like see it's crooked. I can't get it. Hmm. Oh, there it goes. That's better. See, and then these can screw together like this. All right, so let's get a little bit of this blue. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I think the trick is to have really good tools, you know, that aren't deteriorating. This is starting to wear a little bit too. How are we doing? Let's see. What's Carol saying? I had a bear make a knocking sound on our front door when I was making dinner one summer. Oh my gosh. I went to see what it was and was shocked and yelled, It's a bear! and ran away. Oh my gosh.
All right, that might be good enough for the bottom, huh? Lori, that's the one thing I noticed about the soft tools. They do seem to wear it, yeah. Yeah, because see, that's already, like I said, I haven't used these much, but see, that's already poking through. And like Dee Dee would say, when you go to put them on, sometimes they would tear. Okay. I really would like to cut the side of my... All right. So now I'm looking for where I think I need to erase. I'm going to add a little bit, I think, of this darker green. Up under here. Maybe a little bit there. I think I'm going to leave well enough alone. Okay, what's Gail saying? The other morning at the park, Elvin and I were walking one of the wooded pathways when I see a dog come at us from the opposite direction i thought why is that dog loose it came trotting towards us and then i realized and said out loud that's a fox and it just trotted into the woods oh my gosh all bushy yeah cool I would love to see like a moose or something, you know. My sister has a house up in uh, upstate New York, um, like uh, the Adirondacks area, and she's on a, her house is on a lake. You think you would see a moose come down, but I guess there's too many houses there, like all around the lake. But um, my friend that moved to Colorado. I saw a reel with all these moose laying all over everybody's front yard. And I said to my girlfriend, Jean, does this, this look like your house? And she's like, yep. <laughs> she sent me a picture of one looking in her front, looking in one of her windows. Can you imagine? I don't know if they're harmful at all. They say that, you know, raccoons is, you know, um, even the chipmunks, you know, are destructive. But I guess squirrels are too. See, see, I don't have this on right. All right, so being as I did that background, I'm not seeing too many places where I feel like I have to erase something. So that was good. That was good. So let me see if I can get some of these capped up and put back. Oh, you think so? Thanks. Thanks, Andrea. It's kind of hard to tell. I hope it'll look a lot better in a moment. All right, let me cap these up. I don't know. Me getting up early in the morning and starting to drink my beverages, I really have to go to the loo again. I'm going to spray this because I want my, my pan pastel to lock in. So then I can come back with my color pencil. Okay, guys, look, I have all these here too. I should throw these all in one bag. So I'm going to go spray that. My piece. Run to the potty while I'm doing that. And then I will be back. Okay? Can you hang around? There's a few of us here. If you don't have anything going on right this moment. Okay, I'll be back. Have a look at that little frog. This is the one I'm, I was coloring. 
Is this him here? That's my frog. See, I don't finish anything. I get just I'm so I'm so easily distracted. See, I started my my strawberries last night, but that's a see, there's a lot. When you color, you have to be um have some stick to itiveness, right? Because it goes slow. Go slow. All right. I think I have Pantasso on my fingers. Oh, there's a bluebird. He's getting some worms. All right, now the trick is going to be getting the cap off of my fixative spray. Oh, I hope I don't need a screwdriver. Oh, no, I'm just going to squeeze this. Well, he's sitting right in the bird. He's sitting right in the uh, feeder. <laughs> oh, I can't get this. Um, trying to see if my husband's around. I can't get the uh, cap off of this. Ow. Ron? Here we go. Be something blooming, and all the little little petals are uh, growing all around. Okay. I grabbed my phone too. Okay. Let's see. All right, I'm going to go to YouTube. Looks like my battery's just about dead. Ay, 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 ay.
There we go. Now I can see chat a little better. Andrea says, my worst animal encounter came home one night, went to get out of the car, and a raccoon stood up and dared me. Oh, my. I drove away. I'm an old lady. I don't need any. <laughs> when I worked, I worked at a Bible college for quite a few years. I've mentioned this before. I'm going to trim this because I can't stand that ragged edge. And um, part of my responsibility was to raise money for scholarship support. And so I would hire students to call friends and alumni of the school, you know, asking for a donation. So I worked nights. And a lot of the kids, I should have just gone right around. A lot of the kids, you know, lived on campus, didn't have cars. Well, when you were a freshman, you weren't allowed to have a car. But so there was this one gal. So they would walk up to where my building was. And we, we called at night. And I would say to them, you know, I don't want you walking back by yourselves. If, if you don't have a car, I will take you to your dorm. But when they came to work, it was lighter. It was lighter out. It wasn't, you know, dark. So coming to work wasn't the problem. It was going home. But as the um, calendar, you know, would move and we'd get into October and stuff like that, it would get, of course, a little darker. One of the girls, she was from the city. Hi, April. Happy Easter. Well, she came up the hill and around the corner, eyeball to eyeball with a deer. Well, wow, she, she screamed and ran, <laughs> ran the other direction. Oh my gosh. She said at first, I didn't realize what it was. All right. So I'm going to pull out some colors. Let's pull out some yellow. And uh, what else am I going to want here? Let's get, um, I need some greens. I need some greens. April, yeah, tomorrow's your month. April showers may come your way. They bring the flowers that bloom in May. All right, so that's marine. Oh, I got two marines. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> Just saying. Okay, what's this? This is dark green. Oh, that might come in handy. Handy, handy. And I'm going to need some brown some darker brown i don't know i don't see what i'm looking for that's french gray which i love but it's not the brown hmm. black raspberry i wonder where all my browns are wonder wonder where did my browns go oh here they are I'm going to need some black, too. What's this one? Dark brown. There you go. We'll give that a go. We'll give that a go. Oh, I should have grabbed the black. Oh, well, I'll come back. All right. So, we should be good. Should be good. All right. So, this is... Uh, let's see if I can see it. I have such a hard time reading these. Who's having a birthday? Tomorrow's your birthday? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear April. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Wonderful. I hope you have something fun planned. 
Okay, so this is yellow okra. You're welcome. Well, I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm still going to put a little something here. Just trying to deepen some of this here, right by the, where the petals come into the, you know, that center, whatever you call that center of the flower. Hello, Cal. Happy Easter, my dear. I should have gotten out of light green, too. I bought a lot of extra white pencils because... He has risen. He has risen indeed. Yes, ma'am. Um, I thought Dee Dee had said they were going to stop making them. But anyway, I don't know where they all are. I know you find that hard to believe. When I was studying um, color pencil with um, Bonnie Snowden, she would always say, don't be afraid of black. So I'm going to get my black out, too. I wonder if I have a black in here. Oh, that's a nice green. There's my, I think, my one and only white. You know, years ago, I could blame it on my kids, but I got nobody to blame but myself now. Sad to say. I'm missing a cooking tool. It's a little, it's like a spoon, like a wooden spoon, but it's flat. It doesn't have like a, a bowl in it. My son got it for me when he used to work at the mall. William Sonoma. That's when I used to cook. I've had it for years. It just went MIA just recently. Of course, my husband doesn't remember it. He doesn't really like it. He's the one that cooks now. So I don't know if it got in like with the trash, you know, like thrown in with something, got knocked into the trash bin, but I'm quite sad about it. Because my son gave it to me and I loved it. I'm trying to think maybe this one. This is an orange, mineral orange. I wonder if that's going to. Maybe deepen that a little bit better for me. Okay, let me see. I'm just looking for black. This is some black. I've got a different brand. Let's see. This is a polychromo black. Let's see how this does. Well, that's not too bad. Hmm. 
I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. I can. I can a little bit. Sunday. Somebody's cutting the lawn. Easter Sunday. The grass isn't that tall here yet. You know? Just saying. Just saying. I didn't miss anybody else. I must have missed some people coming in. There's more people here now. If I missed you, I'm so sorry. This is a lighter yellow. Let's see what this is going to do for me. Eh. Judy, hi. Happy Easter. It's so nice to see you. How are you doing? How are you doing? I bet you she's got something good on the menu, huh? I bet you she's got something good on that menu. My mom used to make a dried lima bean, like in a crock pot kind of a thing. Ugh. Well, a lot of times she would have it at um, Thanksgiving. But for some reason, she thought it was either time consuming or what. She, she really didn't like to make it, but we like to eat it. So we're having that today. Oh. So I'm looking forward to that. Let's see if I kind of got a smudge here. Now these leaves behind could be a little darker, I think. I'm trying to go a little faster. Gail said, please keep my 91-year-old father in your thoughts, if you would. He's having minor surgery Wednesday, but when you're in your 90s, anything, any procedure can be worrisome. It sure can, Gail. I'll definitely do that. All right, so let me put a little shadow under here. And what did I do with that dark brown? Let's get a little bit of that. Yeah. That happened to uh, something similar to that happened to my husband's aunt. I know it's not good to tell horror stories when somebody's going in to have surgery. But <clears throat> the procedure was fine. But... I think they broke her collarbone while they were moving her or something. So you just never know. It's best to always be praying. All right, let's see. How about a nice... Mm -hmm. I'm wanting a nice, maybe bright yellow. For some highlights. Let's 
I'll get my blackout on here. And I need like a screaming yellow. Lemon yellow. That's that's pretty screamy. Oh, here's some that are better. I think. The Comimel yellow. Oh, lemon yellow. Yeah, let's try that. Let's see, maybe right here. And then a little bit of white. What we crock potting? Somebody doing something in the crock pot? I, that's how I did my bone broth. I don't have an Instapot. I think I might have to get my husband an Instapot. Maybe Father's Day. You know what I always wanted? I always wanted a, um, oh, I don't know if I can think of the name. It's like, um, it's a blender, but you can make soup in it too. And you can do, what am I going to do with it? I'm going to put it in my book where my other colored pictures are and not do anything with it. Oh, does anybody know what it, yeah, yeah, Vitamix. That's it, Candy. You got it. Yeah, that's what I want. Can you imagine? Somebody told a story once. I don't know who it was. They found one at like a yard sale. I only paid a couple bucks for it. Can you imagine? It's like a $500. Actually, I think my sister Jackie has one. And she has connections. But, um... Yeah, I love the idea of just throwing stuff in that blender and making soup. But that's not going to happen. I think an Instapot's more, more realistic. But you love a flow? You have that? Do you have a Vitamix? Oh, I don't like Brussels sprouts, Cal, but I am hungry for scalloped potatoes. That's what I was going to make if we stayed home. But, oh, you have the Instapot? Instapot, and you have both? I might have to have your autograph. Nice. The Vitamix doesn't heat up and it and it goes so fast things get warm. Oh, is that how it works? My mother had a pressure cooker. So that's that's what the instant pot is, right? You can slow cook in those, but it's also um, a pressure cooker. Man, and that thing would whistle and she'd take her little pokey fork and pull off that little disc. And it would, you know, sizzle. I think you see them if you watch QVC. I got off of that train a long time ago. So I don't know, Gail. I'm sure they sell them other places. 
but I think that's a big QVC item. At least it used to be. I should have gotten out my lime green. Oh, this is a nice green. Apple green. Who's making what? Who's got... Yes, it's a safe pressure cooker. Okay, say so yeah. Okay, I got that. Yeah, I never used one. I just remember my mom using it. But yeah, the way that steam would shoot out of there. Yeah. All right, I'm brightening up this little, I'm kind of all over the map here. I think my um, flowers look a little too, dingy. Like a dingy um, yellow. Let's see. This is jasmine. That might be nice. Let's see. Let's get this back leaf. See what it looks like. Hmm, not too bad. I feel a sneeze coming on. Hmm. I'm twirling it. You don't cook much? Yeah, I'll say I don't either. And that will be my husband's, you know, why do you want that? You don't cook. And he, he would never probably use it. Instapots aren't too terribly expensive, right, though? Are they a couple hundred or? I think I need my other glasses on. Oh, no, I got to get too close. Can't keep my glasses straight. How are we doing? Candy says, I have a, I have to, I have to, me, can only make peanut butter and jelly. Oh, you do, Judy? Oh, that's cool. Jacqueline was making um, sourdough starter. Oh, Mel, your husband. I have to Mel. I think I'm missing a word there.
My mother was living on peanut butter. Okay, so this is little lines here, like where you can You know, kind of put a shadow. It's, kind of, it's all the way around. I didn't think they were supposed to cut lawns in here on Sunday. I think maybe it's just homeowners can, but not like outside agents that come in. You left out the comma. Okay, hon. I have to. Mel can only make. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> Yeah, well, my husband, his parents, he lived in his parents' house, you know, till he was older. But they moved to Florida and had a place down there. And then when they wanted to come back up north, you know, he oversaw the house and, you know, somebody was in it all the time. But he decided if he didn't want to just eat peanut butter and jelly, he'd have to learn how to cook. So. That's what he did. I think I'll get a little black in there. See if I can kind of make this pop a little bit more. I wonder if anybody else is coming on today. Was Mary on this morning? Does anybody know? I didn't look. My mom was mostly eating those, uh, you know, those Uncrustables when she was still in her house. Eating Uncrustables and um, Cheerios, mostly chocolate Cheerios. She loves those. I don't know if I can really see the difference on screen. My mom always made pickled eggs for Easter. We usually would have deviled eggs too, but I don't know if my niece is doing those, but um Oh my gosh, I love those pickled eggs. And people say they that, you know, um, like Brussels sprouts, because Kel said she was having those. See, they're really good, and it's all in the way that you cook them, but I don't know. I've cooked them a lot of different ways and tried them different ways. I just can't. And I like cabbage. Let's see.
Oh, you do, Judy? Oh, I never heard of that. You think, Gil? Oh, no. It's really... Well, do you like anything like... um? Like sweet and soury stuff. I know stuff gets like um, sweet when you roast it, but oh, I just don't know. Just not feeling it with those sprouts, girls. Just being honest, not feeling it. I've tried them. I really have tried. I think you would like a pickled egg, I think. Unless you don't like hard-boiled eggs, then that might be a game changer. My mom would do them. Um, this is how we grow up with them. I got to get to my, let me see if I can get to my pencil sharpener here. Sometimes pickled stuff, you know, doesn't have any color. It's just like your, you know, your vinegar and it's like clear, but my mom did it with beets and I don't really like the beet part of it. I could eat it, but. Like, my sister loves the beads. But they just are nice and red. And they've just got that little, you know, kick from the vinegar. I could eat them every day, actually. I could eat them every day. I'm not going to try the pickled ones. Mm. To me, it's a nice change from a hard-boiled egg. says okay update aunt is out of your aunt had surgery oh i didn't realize kel oh my goodness Is that the same aunt you just did the nails? Okay, Gail, enjoy your day. And I think you'll say Wednesday, right? Wednesday your dad's having the procedure. Don't forget Gail's dad. Okay, thank you, sweetie. All right, Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Okay, have a great rest of your day. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Oh, there goes my battery on the phone. What am I doing time? How am I doing time wise here? It's almost one. Oh, we got to get to my nieces. So I guess I should probably wrap this up. I should probably wrap this up. Oh, yeah, I'm going to miss Anne at five. Yeah, I won't be home either. I didn't pull out my favorite color green in my... Oh, let's try this green. I love lime peel in the um, Prisma colors. 
This one's not too bad. What's this one called? Olive yellow. Hmm. Well, I got a fair amount done. Not, um, I mean, I still have all this flower, most of that side. I'm not sure I like that I did the pan pastels on the yellow because I didn't have a real yellow yellow. Eh, I'm not liking that so much either. But hey, it's a start. I am glad for spring. I am looking forward to spring. I'm looking forward to my pool getting open in the summer. I'm glad for baseball season. And I'm glad for all of you. Thank you for coming today and joining me. My little coloring project. I want to show you something real quick. My husband saw this reel. I have to do a couple of more. But look how cute this is. Now they glue them together. And they put a little thing on there. Let's see. I don't think my glue gun's plugged in. I don't know if I have a flat back here. But they put a little flat back on it. Let's see. No, it's cold as ice. It's cold as ice. See, I usually have stuff just laying and thrown around. But this little, oh, here's one. If you can imagine, they put a little flat back on that like that. And then it can decorate the corner of a page. But I have to practice a few more, more times. Look how cute that would be. I mean, it would put a little bulk on your page for sure, but you know. So I might do, we might do this on Thursday. Cute, right? So I, I ordered, um, cause you want thin paper. I ordered some origami paper. I thought it was solid on one side, but it's a design on both sides, but it looks kind of cute. So be thinking about that. Judy says she grew up on a farm and made fresh butter every Saturday while watching cartoons mom made cheese oh my gosh i can't even imagine making cheese i would love i would love to do that like so much our my grandmother would take um like the fat off of the top of the milk like she would get the glass milk jug you know and then the first couple of lumps or whatever would be that judy you probably know what it's called at the top and then she would put it in a canning jar, put the lid on it, and just have us start shaking it. And we'd make butter. The cream. <laughs> Thank you, Judy. It wasn't coming to me. She would get the cream off, and then she would let us shake the jar. And we were just enthralled, you know, that we were making butter. Thanks, Candy. Oh, they're fun times for her to remember, right? If you were fortunate enough to have those memories. Baseball, is that the sport with the hot dogs? Andrea. All right, girls, I got to skedaddle. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate you being here. Thank you so very much. And I hope to see you soon. Enjoy the rest of your day, whatever you might be doing. Maybe it's just a day for you to relax and take it easy. That's okay, too, huh? Huh? That's okay, too. It's all good, right? Thank you, thank you, thank you, my dear friends. Good to see you all. Don't forget, take time to be creative and enjoy the journey. And I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.